Hey guys, um, it's Bianca here. I just wanted to make a quick video and give you guys a warm welcome. Very excited to be starting the group with you guys tomorrow. Um, I know Kristen has a few words to say. She'll be popping in later and sending you guys a message as well. But um, I'm sitting here and I'm making my meal plan for the week and I figured, you know, I'd walk you through the beginning. Um, for a lot of you guys, it's the first time ever doing a challenge group, so you don't really know what to expect. So I wanted to paint like the picture for you so you have an idea of how this is going to work, right? Hopefully, you've done your homework and you've gotten your packages already and you've opened them up and you've gotten familiar with your meal plans and you know eating guides and your workouts the equipment that you may need for your workout like if for example you're doing a 21 day fix you are going to need a set of weights you're going to need a yoga uh, mat you know certain things that you may need that are specific to your program so hopefully you've already gotten that and you've already looked over that if you haven't go ahead and do that today and then message your coach if you have any questions because we don't know that you're struggling and to let us know right um, as far as the group goes really this group is for support and accountability so you really do need to be plugged into the group in order to get the most benefit out of it right um, we can do everything on our own this is not magic science this is actually the only thing that's ever been known to work and you probably you guys already probably know this it's exercise and nutrition right we're gonna couple the two together it's probably not gonna be anything new for you what's gonna be different is the account and the, um, the accountability and the support that you're gonna be receiving from the coach and from the group as well. I know that that for me was a game changer. So it, it, it will be for you too, but you do have to keep your mind open to it and you have to be willing to, you know, put in the time and, and make that sacrifice to check into the day. I know our lives are already very busy, but if you want to have that little extra, mm, you know, that little extra something that's going to push you over the edge so that you can actually get, you can get great results and, you know, um, do this and do it the right way, then make sure that you're plugged into the group. It's going to make a big difference and you'll see what I mean by the end of it. Um, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is your mindset, right? So if you come into this group and you have an idea, you have a goal in your mind, right? So I don't know, let's say we, you want to lose 40 pounds. Awesome. You have a good goal that's different from having a vision. I really want you guys to have a vision for yourself, a vision of where you want to be when February 5th comes around and this group is over right? Because losing the 40 pounds is a really, really great goal to have, but it's probably going to take more than 21 days. So you have to have a vision of where you're going so that you can tie that into your goal, into your game plan, right? And what is a vision? When we talk about that, you know, you guys are probably like, what the heck is she talking about? If you've never had like a vision board and you've never done anything of the sort, it might be a new concept to you. So let me explain what a vision is. Having a vision is not just so much having a goal, but it's having a, a place or, a, you know, an idea of where you want to be. So what is that 40 pounds? What is losing that 40 pounds going to mean to you? How is it going to change your life? And how is it going to make it better, right? And what, for what reason do you want to lose those 40 pounds? What is the vision that you have for when you achieve that goal? Now, that is your key component for you to achieve your goals, because I'm going to tell you right now, there are going to be days that you don't want to do this. There are going to be days where you're going to be tired. Your, your kid didn't sleep all night and you're going to wake up and you're going to have to do your workout and every single excuse that you can think of is going to pop into your head for you to not have to do it. And while it's warranted and most of us are going to be, you know, um, tempted to do that at, from time to time, if your vision is strong enough, if you know where you're going and it um, compels you and it's something that you know you have to do for yourself, it's going to pull you. Your vision is going to pull you towards your goals. It's going to help you get, get that workout in when you really don't feel like doing it. And let me tell you guys, you know, a lot of people come to me and say, you know, how do I need the motivation? How do I have the motivation that you have? Motivation is not something that you find and all of a sudden you're like, oh, now I'm motivated. No, it's something that you build. You work on it. It's a muscle. You have to work at it, you know, and the way you do that is by doing it on the days that you really don't feel like doing. So if you want to be that person that's self-motivated, that's, you know, that doesn't think about doing a workout, that they don't, you know, they don't struggle as much. And I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, it's not that I, I, I don't, every day I wake up, you know, excited, ooh, ooh, I'm going to go do my workout. No, I have <laughs> my energized for that. But for the most part, I, I know that if I don't get the workout in, I'm going to feel like crap. And so it's that feeling of not wanting to feel like crap that pushes me towards it. So it's not so much that I'm like extra motivated or wired differently than you. I went through the same struggles when I did my first challenge group. 
but I had that very strong vision for myself. I really, really was sick and tired of feeling the way I was feeling. And I knew that I couldn't be there anymore. So that was my vision. I wanted to have energy. I wanted to be able to run after my kids. I wanted to be able to, you know, sleep well and not, not um, rely on Red Bulls every day. I wanted to, to do that for myself. I knew that I could feel better. And I knew that the way I felt wasn't the way I, I was supposed to be feeling. I knew that I needed to get that for myself. And I knew that the only person that could give that to me was me. Right. So I wanted to be able to do these things. So that vision of the life that I live now, which I be 100 percent honest with you, where I am today is exactly where my vision was. But how did I get here? It was by doing it when I didn't feel like doing it. Right. Um, so I wanted to just paint that and have you guys work on your vision because your vision is going to be different than mine and of everybody else in this group. What you want for your life is going to be different. So you have to think about this because that's going to be your why. That's going to be the thing that is going to motivate you to start and finish this program strong, right? And then, like I said before, just prepare yourself, read your booklets, get familiar, do your little homework, right? You can't um, expect to get something without giving something. So you're going to have to do a little bit of sacrifice. It's going to take hard work, but I can promise you it's going to be worth it. So as far as that's concerned, um, that's just one a little bit that I wanted to point out to you guys. And then I wanted to show you, I'm going to um, share my screen here, and I wanted to show you a couple things about the group that you may or you may not know. Um, so here um, is our group. Sorry, let me pull this out. Here's our group. So you are in this group. We have 94 members in here. And here's our news feed. This is um, where you're going to check in every day. You're going to rate your day in this group. And we're going to be doing a lot of um, live videos for you guys and, you know, giving you resources through this group. It's just easier for us. We know that everybody's on Facebook, so we know that you guys are going to check this. So we're going to give you a bunch of um, resources through here. If you need to, you can go into the file section. In the file section, you'll find all the recipes, meal plans, snack ideas, all kinds of neat files that we put together for you. Um, I, um, if the notifications drive, drive you nuts, which I can totally understand, there's 94 people in this group, and when everybody starts posting, it's going to drive you crazy, you can silence it, put only friends posts, or you can completely take them off or just leave the highlights, so meaning the big posts, are gonna, you're going to see them. So you can, you can um, uh, change these settings to your liking however you'd like. Just If you turn it off, just make sure you are um, checking into the group at least once a day. I like before I go to bed, you can do whatever you want. Um, in here, you can also add your group to your favorites, right? Um, now they call it, they call it different. They say pinch your shortcuts. So you can actually pin it and it will show up here on your shortcuts on your left-hand side, which will make it easier for you to find this group in case you have multiple groups going, which a lot of coaches do. So if you have a lot of groups, make sure you do that so you don't miss a beat. Um, and then the last thing I was going to point out is that we have a pinned post, and that's going to be daily. Um, you can look to see this pinned post. If you are on the computer, it's going to be automatically, it's going to say pinned. I'm going to pin one for you. I'm going to pin um, Kristen's post for today, and you're going to see what it looks like. See, when you, when you clicked into, into your computer, you're going to see pin posts, and it's going to be pinned to the top of the page so you can see it. So that's what I wanted to show you for the Facebook group. And again, that's going to be a place where you're going to get resources, and you're going to check in every day. You're going to rate your day in there, and we'll tell you more about that in the future, so don't freak out yet because you don't know what it means. Even if you see people doing it, don't freak out. We'll teach you how to do it. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to show you is the app. So let me log into my app here. Hopefully it'll show for you guys. Hold on one second. It's going to take a uh, select um, network is busy Wi-Fi. And it tells me to log in. Hold on. I'm logging into my phone so you guys can see my screen on my phone. Okay. And then mirroring. Okay, so now you guys can see my phone. I'm going to check in into our app here. Let me find it. I have too many apps, so bear with me. Um, where did I put it? There it is. So you're going to check into your challenge group, right? You're going to download your app. The app should have came in through your email, the invite to the app. 
should um, come in through your email. If it hasn't arrived in your email yet, make sure that you've checked the spam box. If you have a Gmail account, make sure you look under promotions and social as well. Sometimes it ends up there. But if you still don't have it, we can resend it. Just let us know that you don't have it yet because you will need to log into this app every day in order to qualify for the check that Beachbody is going to send you. So this is the most important part of your whole um, challenge. You need to make sure that you're checking into this phone app okay so it's called my challenge tracker um, you guys are gonna see exactly what I'm seeing so it tells me my challenge group again soon this is I just logged in right um, new year new you 2017 health bet you gotta put got it um, when there are posts from the coach you're gonna see it here but we don't have anything yet so it says view your checklist I've already completed this but you guys are gonna go ahead and put in your goal your before photo and your starting weight and your measurements I still need to do my measurements. I wanted to do that last minute, so I haven't done it yet. And then you're going to see the feed, right? So this is your home. Oh, it doesn't allow me to do it just yet because, ah, okay, got it. So when, when we have access to the group right now, it's still closed because it starts tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, you're going to be able to see where that plus sign is on the bottom there. You can't really see it, but it would be here. You would click on that plus sign, and it would give you um, the ability to either log in a workout or log in um, a shake. And remember, with your shakes, you have to put in a picture of your shake as well. The workouts, you don't have to. And on top of that, you know, when you click on that plus and you put in what you're logging in, it's going to give you a space to write a note. You can, that's optional. You don't have to, but you definitely need the photo for the shake. Make sure that the photo is there. Um, don't add any filters. Don't get anything fancy. It just it literally just before you take your shake or after you take your shake, you just take a picture and you're like, this is me. And you can put your face in it if you want. Um, that's usually better. But um, you need to do that five times. So don't forget, you need five shakes for the week and you need three workouts for the week. And as long as you do that for four weeks, you're going to get your, um, your check for the health bet. And we'll check in with you and give you more instructions on this if you need it, if it's not too clear. But um, basically, if you have questions, you can always comment um, below this video and it will, will clarify the questions for you. So basically, I wanted to show you guys that. So you have the two things. You have the Facebook group and you have the app. You don't have to do it that way. We did it because we wanted you guys to have all the support you need. Um, be prepared to check in with your coach every week on Mondays. I always check in with my people and I make sure they give me um, stats. I want to hear um, weights. I want to hear measurements. And I want to know how, closer, how much closer they're getting to their goal. And if something is not going the way that they think they should or that, you know, um, they're making, not making progress, then we can always um, adjust it. We can always take away a container. We, we, we're, cap we're capable of doing these things as your coaches. We'd ask that you don't do it on your own. We ask that you can rely on your coaches because we've been there like there and done that. I've been a coach for three years. Every single question that you could possibly have in the book, every single obstacle that you could face, I can give you a tip or you know an idea or something that's gonna help you. Um, and we that's what we're here for. We wanna work together. Or our success as a coach comes from when you have success as a challenger. So be connected, have that communication. Don't let that go by. Um, utilize your, your coaches, they're amazing resources and they're here and they want nothing but to see you succeed. So um, you're in great hands with this group. I'm very excited to have you. Hopefully you're as excited to start as we are to have you. And we start tomorrow. So let us know if there's any questions that at all posted below in this video if anything isn't clear we're here for you all right thank you for watching guys have a great weekend